Hello again everyone, and welcome back to Otherworldly Encounters, where you can submit your NDE, OBE, spiritual or paranormal story to my email address, which you can find in the description section of this channel. Simply click on the word that says about, and it will take you there. No need to use your real name, you can submit your story anonymously, and I will create the video. Today this story comes to us from Jenna. In 2015 when I was 25 years old, I had a car accident which changed my life forever, and here is my story. It was a beautiful Sunday, so I decided to visit a nearby park and enjoy the sunshine and some fresh air. I walked around for about an hour, then it looked like it was going to rain, so I left the park and headed for a diner for something to eat. I was driving on the highway at about 50 miles per hour, when I came upon a car that was stopped on the highway. I tried to avoid hitting the car so I swerved, but was hit by another car. I lost control of my car, went through the guardrail, hit a tree, and then I was gone. When I opened my eyes, I saw that I was surrounded by people who were looking in the windows, and saying things like, is she dead? I was wondering why they were not helping me, and thought maybe they were waiting for an ambulance to arrive. Finally the car door opened. They pulled me out and laid me on the grass but the grass did not feel soft, it felt more like needles and I noticed it was getting dark, so I thought it was going to rain. Time marched on, and then I shouted, is someone going to help me? They all chuckled, and I thought, what kind of people would laugh at a person who was injured in a car accident? I heard one person say, she's dead. I screamed, I am not dead. With that, they started pushing me into the ground with their feet. I felt the sharp needle-like objects pierce my back, and then they came through the front of my body. I began falling down what felt like a long water slide tunnel. I popped out at the bottom of the tunnel, and into what felt like thick glue, and it even smelled like the glue called rubber cement. I was sinking deeper into the glue, and it was about to cover my mouth and nose when I stopped sinking. A giant ugly creature appeared. It was looking down at me and it chuckled just like the people who surrounded my car. I said please help me get out of here, but it just stood there with a smirk on its face. At that point, I came to the realization that I was in hell. I didn't understand why, because I thought of myself as someone who would give the shirt off my back for a friend. It got very dark and every once in a while, I would hear a gasp for air, and then silence. I was struggling to keep my head above the thick, glue-like substance, but it was getting harder, and I was losing my strength. I knew I was going to go under soon and be stuck in there forever, just like the other souls that were gasping for air. I was petrified, so I yelled out, please Jesus come and save me. When I said that, I was pulled out of the glue and then I was floating in beautiful warm blue water like the Caribbean. It was like a bath, and it washed all the glue away. I saw what looked like a floodlight shining down on me, and I heard beautiful music. It was very bright, so I could not see anyone, but I heard a voice and all it said was, tell everyone to drive safely. I opened my eyes and saw the paramedics looking down at me. I asked them where the crowd of people went. They said the police got there right away, and they didn't see anyone at the scene. What did you think of Jenna's story? Let me know in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed her story, please give it a like and subscribe. If you hit the bell icon, you will receive a notification when I post a new video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you will come back and visit again soon.